Okay, the first thing we're going to do is weigh out 3.19 grams, just about 3.2, 3.15, 3 3.2, we'll just back off a little bit on that. And make our 0.2 molar solutions, 100 milliliters of it. See the scale going up to zero. There we go. And we'll take our copper sulfate off, put our scale back. up 200 milliliters of water which we pre-measured and our 3.2 grams of copper sulfate let it dissolve we're using a special cell for this video demonstration. Okay, I want to show what we're using for a silver electrode. This is a piece of uh, silver necklace broken piece of silver necklace it's hard to find silver anymore we couldn't find any uh, coins there used to be plenty of silver coins around now there's no more any silver coins around let's lower the whole thing so that the silver and only the silver goes down. Take this off. Into our solution. There, it's just below the surface there. Just a little bit of silver. We can put some more through, I think. Fall through. Lower it down a little bit more. You can see it touching the bottom there of our copper sulfate solution. And here you have our clean copper tube. Whatever you have that's copper will work fine. And we're going to make sure we put the copper tube way to the back here so that it can't come in contact with the silver. Now we have the yellow. Yellow electrode, I'll show you the battery. Can you see it in the picture? There you are. This is the negative terminal of the battery. And this is the positive terminal of the battery. So we'll do what the procedure says. We'll hook up the green alligator lead that goes to the silver to the negative part of the battery. Is that what it says to do? That's what it says. And the positive terminal of battery will be connected to the copper and we're going to wait five minutes five minutes till it's 7 30 here and see what happens Let me inspect this and see if there's any change right away sorry about that let's bring a little bit wider angle in so we can get a better view of this I think that's better here. Okay, we'll just watch that for five minutes. Doesn't seem to be any activity on the silver. 
but the copper seems to be turning darker. That could just be the blue solution. Let's just quickly, from the very beginning, pick up the copper, see what's happening. Nothing, really. Okay. We'll just let that sit five minutes. Okay. What should be happening is the copper ions in the copper sulfate solution should be gaining electrons at the negative electrode. Oh, wait a second. And the silver's on the negative electrode, right? Okay. <clears throat> so some copper should be plating out on the silver electrode <clears throat> because the copper ions will be gaining electrons at the negative battery terminal mm -hmm. and should be plating out on the silver. We'll just check this and see if this is what happens. That's about five minutes there. Let's see if we got anything. Yeah, you can see it's darkened slightly. Okay, I don't know if you can tell it from here, but it's definitely darker. Maybe brownish color. All right, we'll put it back on and we'll write down our observation. Darkened slightly. Now, we're going to reverse the current. We're going to put the negative terminal onto the copper and the positive onto the silver. And we're going to let it go five minutes again. And we're going to wait till 7.35. When it says 7.35, we'll take it out. We'll check the copper to see if anything happened from the last one. Nothing. So the same clean copper end we had before. Alright, we'll give it another five minutes with reverse current. Okay, we're a little late. We have about two minutes to go. We had a little bit uh, before ten minutes. So we we're three minutes late because we had a little battery failure here. We had already taken out the silver string. You can see on that it's the same as it was. You might be able to see that. It's fairly brown as it was. This is after about four minutes. I took it out to check, and here's the copper, no change. Expected change, we had none. Maybe it wasn't clean enough. We tried cleaning. We're going to put it back for another two minutes or so and see if we have any further change. We'll make sure we turn the camera off so we save battery here. Okay, we had that on there for another two minutes. It's now 20 of, and we're going to check our silver again. actually looks darker to tell you the truth. It shouldn't in my opinion, but it does. And we're going to look at our copper, and I can't see a speck of what I would expect to be copper on there. You know what, I think maybe we didn't clean this thoroughly enough. Let's try just drying it off and still willing it some more and give it another shot, huh? I remember that Unless it's really clean, you're not going to get much change. A little steel on there from the steel wall. Let's make sure that's off. And we're going to give this tip another minute or so and see if we get a change in there. And we'll put their silver, silver electrode on there. It's already hooked up. We'll just pause for a few, few minutes, see if we get a change. Okay, we had that on there for another two minutes. It's now 20 of. And we're going to check our silver again. It actually looks darker, to tell you the truth. It shouldn't, in my opinion, but it does. And we're going to look at our copper. And I can't see a speck of what I would expect to be copper on there. You know what, I think maybe we didn't clean this thoroughly enough. Let's try just drying it off and still willing it some more and give it another shot, huh? I remember that unless it's really clean you're not going to get much change. 
a little steel on there from the steel wool. Let's make sure that's off. And we're going to give this tip another minute or so and see if we get a change in there. And we'll put their silver, silver electrode on there. It's already hooked up. We'll just pause for a few few minutes, see if we get a change. I think we blew our uh, meter. So we're going to check this with a, a light bulb, see if we can get it to light. Yeah. So, yeah, we've got good power through there. We had to hit the uh, millimeter with too much current and blew out a fuse probably. There's plenty of current in there, but the, so that'll be our experiment. That's it.